With so many small teams this season overachieving across Europe from Stuttgart in Germany, who sit just four points off second place Bayern Munich after finishing 16th the year prior, to Girona who sits second in La Liga, to Aston Villa and so on. One team that I honestly have not seen mentioned pretty much at all is Bologna in the Serie A. And while I was well aware of their impressive run this season, and I had watched a couple of games of theirs this season, this comment from John Appleseed said I should do a video about Bologna and that pushed me to do so. So thank you so much for the comments. If you guys want to see videos about certain topics, leave your suggestions in the comments and we will be covering Bologna today. So what's going on everyone? You are listening to Back of the Net here. I hope you guys are all doing well. Please be sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you guys haven't already and let's get into it. Now going into the the season Bologna were a fairly consistent and comfortable mid-table team in the Serie A, just always seeming to be pretty comfortable and avoid relegation since their arrival back in the Serie A in 2015-2016. But this season they have been far better than your average mid-table team. They currently sit 5th in the table tied on points with Atalanta for 4th and 4 points clear of 6th placed Roma. And with this Serie A campaign being as crazy as it has been, it's quite understandable why so many people have looked past Bologna's impressive run. And with Bologna not being all that popular outside of Italy, I wanted to give them their shine today. Now in 2022, Bologna made a very bold and brave move at the managerial spot that has changed this club for the better. With Bologna unable to produce a win in their first five games of the 2022-2023 season, and with their manager Sinisha Mihalovic becoming the first manager of the Serie A season to be sacked, the sacking seemed extremely harsh at the time. While it somewhat made sense from the football side, the human aspect made it extremely harsh. Mihalovic coached Bologna for three and a half years becoming a sentimental favorite of the fans and the players for his desire to remain on the job even after he was diagnosed with leukemia in 2019. And on top of the second, Bologna made, in my opinion, an even bolder move bringing in Thiago Motta to become the manager of Bologna. Motta was a former Barcelona, PSG and Inter player and had managed Genoa for a couple months and was pretty decent as a manager of Spezia, but he was still somewhat inexperienced at the time. But to put the inexperienced worries to the side, at the end of Thiago Motta's first season at Bologna, he managed an extremely impressive ninth place finish in the league. This was Bologna's best finish for 22 years. Motta immediately changed the mood around the club and going into the summer, Bologna and their fans had a newfound high hope for what their team could produce. But as what usually happens with quote unquote weaker teams overachieving, their club was ransacked by several clubs in the summer. Bologna lost a lot of key players in the summer, Arnautovic to Inter Milan, Schulten to PSV, Nicolas Dominguez to Forest, Musa Barrow left and so on. All in all, Bologna lost 19 players in the summer through either selling them or sending them on loan or their contracts expiring. But as many small successful clubs tend to do, their scouting and business in the transfer market was second to none. They managed to bring in 14 players through loans or outright transfers, and many of those players have looked really impressive. Ricardo Calafiori, Giovanni Fabian, Salamarcas, Remo Frula, they have all been very impressive. Now, one of those signings that have really impressed me is Ricardo Calafiori. Bought from Basel for just 4 million euros, the 21-year-old Italian has been arguably one of Bologna's best players this season. Now, yes, statistically, he hasn't been amazing, playing 29 games with just two assists, zero goals scored and even given away two penalties but off the eye test he has been extremely impressive able to play both left back and center back he has been very impressive with his versatility and overall calmness and composure when playing now on to players that weren't signed in the summer but have been outstanding first and foremost is arguably the biggest talking point about Bologna is Joshua Xerxes Xerxes is 22 years old and has scored nine goals and got four assists in the Serie A already this season. Joshua joined Bologna last year from Bayern Munich where he kept constantly getting loaned out or just sitting in the reserves. And with Joshua likely leaving this summer, considering how many teams are interested in him and Bologna having only paid 11.5 million euros for him a year ago, you are assuming that Bologna are going to make a lot of profits from his transfer if he does end up leaving. Another player to me that has been just as impressive but maybe less talked about outside of Italy 
is 24 year old Scotsman Lewis Ferguson. Ferguson has five goals and four assists in 24 Serie A appearances for the club and has been one of the focal points of Bologna's attack. Ferguson joined Bologna last year for just 2 million euros from Aberdeen and like Xerxes if he is to leave in the summer Bologna will make tons of profit from the transfer. Look there are a lot of other players that have been very impressive for Bologna, but if I were to sit here and mention them all, we will be here until tomorrow. Now, Mata has his team playing a really entertaining style of football. Bologna have a style that doesn't really consist of players playing strict positions, but they more so do roles. If you haven't watched Bologna yet, do yourself a favor, put on a Bologna game when they play, and watch them. They are extremely entertaining and impressive. Because they don't play strict positions and they more just cover roles, it leads to extremely fascinating football to watch tactically and just as a fan. Add on to that the fact that many of Bologna's players are pacey and youthful. It makes Bologna quite quick on and off the ball, which is always extremely entertaining to watch. Mata has this team punching well above their weight and now has his team fighting for position with teams like Atalanta and Roma for Champions League spots where two years ago, Bologna was stuck in mediocrity finishing 13th in the Serie A. We all love a good Cinderella run in football and I genuinely am hoping to see this continue and I'm hoping to see one of Italy's most successful clubs of all time in Bologna play in the Champions League again. They were in the Champions League before just once in the 1964-65 season where they got eliminated in the preliminary round so they've never actually played group football in the Champions League but that will be such a cool sight to see. I'm hoping their Cinderella run continues. They keep evolving and improving under Thiago Motta. And even though Motta is now linked to the Barcelona job, who isn't at this point, I hope he keeps building with Bologna, stays at least one more season and brings them to the Champions League. That will be such an awesome story. But yeah, guys, that's the video. Let me know in the comments below. What have you guys thought about Bologna's impressive run this season? Do you think Bologna will qualify for Champions League football? Let me know in the comments below. Please be sure to smash the like button. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one.